Hornets are considering a reunion with former franchise cornerstone Kemba Walker, among other point guards in the free agent marketplace. The team is also interested in the potential re-signing of Isaiah Thomas, who had strong play last season and emerged as a positive locker room leader in Charlotte. The Hornets have a potential need for another reserve point guard and are expected to be patient in their roster moves as the team awaits the legal process of restricted free agent Miles Bridges from felony charges for domestic violence and child abuse. Charlotte Hornets, Charlotte Hornets, Charlotte Hornets. This organization never ceased to amaze me. The predictable moves, the uncalculated moves are puzzling. The Hornets was top five worst in defense. And you mean to tell me and every basketball fan out there that the solution for this is two small Oompa Loompa sized point guards. Really, uh, Kimba's 5'11", so he's taller than that. I know they list him at six foot. He's 5'11", if that. And I know that LaMelo Ball had a post saying that's his bro, Isaiah Thomas is his homie and all that. But you know how LaMelo is. He's cool with everybody. But I'm talking about basketball reasons. And I'm sure these two guards in uh, Isaiah Thomas and Kimball Walker are good dudes. But the game of basketball, the game of professional sports is all about what can you do to help me win? Kimball Walker's knees are gone. And you expect him to come into the Hornets locker room, into games, and depend on him night in, night out. Listen for that for a second. You're dependent on a player who's way past his prime. He's not going to give you a look at defense. You already have that with Terry Rozier, who's a tunnel vision guard, willing to shoot up every shot he wants, but not want to put in the work on the defensive end or grind or die for loose basketballs, none of that. So you're going to add more of those type of players on the bench. How does this help LaMelo Ball? Can we have an honest conversation or do y'all want to uh, sugarcoat things? Because at Raw Truth Media, we do not sugarcoat. And I'm not going to lie to kick it with y'all. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to do that. You know, it's, you know how honest I'm going to be on the subject. Because I want the Hornets to win. Why would I want one of my favorite players to be on a defunct roster? A roster with no vision. A roster that that doesn't really fit with your own with the main point guard's game. How does this help? And does Michael Jordan, Mitch Kupchak, do they actually care about LaMelo growing as a player? Or even Book Knight, who are young players? Besides LaMelo Ball and James Booknight, the players they drafted, they like drafting smaller guys. And you can't win anything in this league doing that. Yes, I see a lot of teams playing small ball, but look at their heights. The guards are taller. The small forwards are taller. So you can afford to do that. But 5'9", 5'11", guards who are not pit bull defenders, who are not going to sacrifice for the good of the team, it's a slap in the face. And for Sham Serrano, I know he reports a lot of breaking news. To say this was breaking news, man, I was thinking like Jalen Brown or something. <laughs> like something like that. If I was a Hornets, man, I know this is not going to happen. I would do everything possible to get Jalen Brown. A two-way player. Can play defense, can score, dependable. He could play off ball. He could ISO when need to. He doesn't do it all the time. Perfect fit for the metal ball. But I doubt they would have the guts to pull that move off. I doubt they have the guts to do it. Three and D. But really, uh, Jalen Brown is more than 3 and D. He's 
he's a, like I said, a two-way player, like Kawhi Leonard. I'm not saying he's Kawhi's level yet, but he's still young, and he has a lot of untapped potential that we all haven't seen yet. This offseason has been a joke of, of epic proportions. And it's more of a joke that the so-called breaking news is that the Hornets are considering adding shorter players again. Same story as last season. You know what's hilarious about this situation? When the Hornets hired Steve Clifford, some of the loyalists, I call it, of Charlotte, who's, who makes excuses for mediocre play in a mediocre organization, they tried to give this coach and hire five stars already before the game started, saying this is an excellent hire. He'll hold players accountable, yada, yada, yada. But he's below 500 in wins. And yes, he had rosters that were, were worse, a little bit worse, than JB. That is true. He's better than JB. But there's some similarities to his coaching that JB did as well. The only difference is he'll give the starting point guard the minutes. I think Lamella would get his minutes. But this is not a good look at all. Don't expect too much defense, especially if they sign either both of these guards or one of these guards. Don't expect any single defense. These are the same people who were nitpicking LaMelo Ball for fouling out, uh, not fouling out, but having a lot of fouls. When you're a, a winner like LaMelo Ball and you're doing everything you can to win, you know, sometimes it's over a sense of urgency and I don't blame them. When you have... Everybody else not trying to play defense, not trying to get stops. What did that tell your brain? I got to make something happen. So you're going to see overreaching. You're going to see um, LaMelo grab a player on, on, on a breakaway fast break because of missed assignments by other players on his team. You're going to see that. But what do I know? I'm just a brother doing YouTube on the side to have a day job I, <laughs> what do I know but all I can say is Hornets Hornet fans this roster as it's constructed is not a playoff team I've said it before and I'll say it again they're not a playoff team I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news but it is what it is we'll see what other moves they'll make but so far I'm not impressed so when the season starts, I don't have any high expectations for the team. But Melo, go get yours. Get your stats. Make another all-star game. Because that's going to be the only bright spot of the Hornets. Because they're going to play so hard just to make the play-in game. And be disappointed. And I don't want that to happen. But man, this, this roster is trash. This is Raw Truth Media giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Peace and blessings in the mouth.